morning, Arthur. Morning, Arthur. Talk to them. To Dutch. Speak. Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on. Ah, uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Eunuchs was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! So, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll is holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. Okay then, partner. Uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. Uh, I ain't no O'Driscoll. Are well, you sure as shit was? John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, show me. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. You taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I'll, I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. What are we waiting for? Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like. God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Doug said. You might. I asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it? Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey, hey, if, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. Morgan, you didn't tell me what the old Driscoll smelled like before you asked me to ride with him. That's because you wasn't asked to ride with us. You was told. Well, I smell like a stall ain't been cleaned out in a month. I smell like that because you had me tied up there about as long. You'd be smelling worse if we'd done what someone's arguing for. Granted, granted, I was in with a bad lot. I'm trying to make amends if I can. You don't know the half. I do know Combe killed Dutch's sweetheart. And that's the man you chose to ride with. A woman killer. Well, it was after he killed his brother. And the way I understood it, uh... Making excuses for the man and his crimes. What kind of trap you leading us into, boy? Now we go left. Uh, the road will take us up and round. Those 
through the hills. Head for them. Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. Settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Ah. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them now? Yes. I said easy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Just over the ridge. Okay, get down. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers, yep. And Colm O'Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The fellow that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Yes, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. Let's get closer.
Leave him. Comb's still here. I'll check. You look out here. You all right? Sure. Thank you. <sighs> Come, O'Driscoll. He ain't here. You set us up. Come here! What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come, O'Driscoll ain't here! He was here, I swear! I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. Get lost. Get lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. So? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> yeah, right you are. At least you got something tucked away.
Like me, be a wise man, be a fool for love. Help a blind man. There you go. You must decide between your past and others' future, friend. Decide, for soon it will be too late. Uh, sure. Okay, mister. <laughs> All the best now. Come 
have here. That's a fine steed. Got some stable space for rent, if you're interested. Well, there you go. That's what I heard. Anything to keep the horses happy, right? No harm in Gussie and your horse up. Got a fancy streak, huh? You got a bath? I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Over for you. Yeah, okay. Sure. Sit back and relax, hon. Let me know if I'm scrubbing too hard, okay? You'll leave this place feeling brand new, you know. Sorry for smell. It's been a while. Oh, I'm not sure what to make of that. Uh, we don't like strangers much in this town. Yes, that's how it is around here. Always been. Oh, been a tough few weeks. Oh, really? Number of times I nearly died the past few weeks, you wouldn't believe. Oh, gosh, you poor thing. So you married? Now that's a question you shouldn't ask a lady, dear. Oh, I'm thinking I don't want this to end. And you're thinking when will this be over? <laughs> you're too much. Aren't you so glad you dropped by? All right, I think I'm good. It was a pleasure. All the best to you. I can hear that goddamn butcher whistling and shouting his lungs off. Thank you. How are you, baby? Look at him! Hey, then, mind your business. I know how you feel.
appreciate you stepping in there. Those bastards been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told them where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. Easy there. Stay out of trouble. I'll try. I've ever had. We're with you on that. Well, don't feel you have to hang around on my account. I didn't think you were serious. All right, girl. Yeah. Sir, I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. If you want the money, you'll have to wait. This is not forgiveness of my debt. This is just a stay. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm, I'm not running any... If I'm here, there's a reason I'm here. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of <gasps> charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman! My husband isn't well! If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money!
how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. <laughs>